Hey guys, Dr. Kyo here and welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm going to be doing a part 11 to what if Naruto was the reincarnation of the Sage of Six Path. As usual, I like to always state, if you guys are new to this channel and you haven't seen um, all these episodes yet, please refer to all my prior videos, I've made 10 of these so, so far, uh, in my channel Dr. Kyo. And then when you're done with that, then jump into this next one, okay? So you don't enter into any form of spoiler, spoiler territories. But without further ado guys, I talk too much crap. Let's get into this next part of what if Naruto was the reincarnation of the Sage of Six Pass. Part 11. Let's begin. And when I last left off, Sasuke and Itachi uh, took their battle to the roof, where Sasuke stands on the top pillar, holding holding his hand up, waiting for um, the Kirin dragon to come down. So he's holding it in his hand, clutching the lightning in his hands. And as this happens, Itachi standing up there looking at Sasuke. Sasuke has his, his, his eternal Mongekyo activated and Itachi has his Mongekyo. Itachi realizes that Sasuke's power is way much more than he expected. He's very proud of his brother. He can't show it, but he just, he's so, um, in, a, in an essence, in excitement, seeing his little brother this powerful. He's like, oh my god, like, he's so impressed. And he, he knows his parents, his father will be so proud of him for how, how far he has gotten. And knowing that, Sasuke is is up there i'm on all the hidden leaf you know but he's going to be a made a joining that uh, you know what i mean very soon that's how how far sasuke has become and this impresses itachi okay and what happens is naruto after dealing with kisame he knows the explosion on the roof of the old ichia hideout he looks up and he sees sasuke um up in the sky generating a massive lightning cloud and he's thinking to himself one well, um, rem remembering what he told lady Tsunade that he's going to bring itachi back um to get more information so sasuke can't kill him so what happens is Naruto, even with his godlike powers, um, he's still at a, a little bit of distance at this present time. In his current state, he can't move as fast as the speed of light, like lightning can. By the time he even tries to take off, Sasuke would already chuck the lightning bolt at, at, at Itachi. So what happens is Naruto says, so stuff it. He looks towards the Ninetales within him, and Ninetales smiles and says, anything you need, old man. And he smiles. But Naruto, he knows Naruto is like, I'm not the old man, I'm Naruto. Like, um, him and... The Ninetales and, and Naruto have like a really, really funny bond, like, yeah, you, like, it's just crack up, like, there's no hatred, animosity, anything like that, Kuruma feels at home, and he'll give anything to make sure that the old man, or Naruto, <coughs> is safe, so what happens is, um, Naruto, um, looks at him, and instantly, as, after they, um, both make that contact with each other, eye contact, Naruto's body outside generates the Ninetales cloak, around him or the, the actual KCM cloak too but what happens is as he does this and and he looks up um, the sage eyes that he has outside on um, the sage pigment that he has outside of his eyes that goes over his eyelids um, stay but what happens is an another mark on his head appears the one that happens on, on top of his head same thing as like the like Hagoromo that third eye Renegon thingy that happens on his head that comes too and as Naruto goes to jump he instantly appears by Sasuke, he, he couldn't believe this, the sheer speed that he just instantly um, it, 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 it was just taken up on, him, on himself when he went into that new form. Itachi and Sasuke had no time to react to this, so when Sasuke was about to pull the dragon down and hit Itachi, Naruto catches Sasuke's hand and tells Sasuke, not like this, I thought you were going to talk to Itachi. And, and what happens is Itachi is looking at Naruto like, whoa, Naruto has the full control of the Nine Tails, like... Itachi is now taken even more back by this. His little brother surpasses him, and Naruto is even more than that. Itachi starts to feel a little hope inside, knowing that some there is someone that can actually stop Nagato, stop this plan from happening. It's actually someone to do so. And so what happens is Sasuke looks at Naruto, and he sees that Naruto is really serious about this. And Naruto just states, "Don't use that jutsu. Don't use that lightning jutsu, Sasuke. What you, what you should do is continue fighting him." The way you are, you can you can overpower him in any other way. Well, don't do that, Jutsu. That's the last resort, yeah. And Sasuke looks at Naruto and he, he removes his hand from Naruto's super duper strong grip, and he smiles. And Naruto just states to Sasuke, "Why don't you just use your Sage Mode? You can easily overpower Itachi even with your Susanoo, can't you?" Sasuke is like looking at Naruto. He's like, "Really? You should fight him then. Like, like you're in my way of my vengeance." Yeah, but um, Sasuke understands that Naruto is going to stop him no matter what. So what happens is Sasuke, um, he, he's, he gets past that and he tells Itachi, he jumps back down to where Itachi is and Naruto is, is standing on top where Sasuke was originally going to chuck the lightning dragon at him. Naruto standing there looking down at Itachi and Sasuke watching the battle. 
and he puts Naruto shots at Itachi. I'm not gonna interfere. Not cheer anyway. You're just lucky I stopped Sasuke to do what he did. But that lightning bolt was to hit you, or that it certainly did a lot of damage to you, Itachi. I don't I do not um, discount your Susano, but don't discount your little brother your little brother's power. Especially when he enters his sage mode. Itachi's Itachi is taken aback by this. Now Sasuke has sage mode, all that shit. What happens is Sasuke goes ready for round two. Pull the sword up, disappears. Itachi is just taken by the sheer speed of Sasuke. Sasuke appears by Itachi and goes to slash him. Itachi forms a Susanoo ribcage and, and, and behind him. And Sasuke stabs him for that. But as Sasuke stabs and hits the Susanoo ribcage, he envelops his own one. His own Susanoo ribcage. When, when he pushes himself back, because Itachi goes to reverse and swing him out. But what happens is Sasuke envelops his own ribcage in a Susanoo arm and catches Itachi's arm. And pushes it away. And what happens is Sasuke instantly manifests his Susanoo with his, his, his arrow. And not only that, his, um, uh, um, um, his, what's it called, Amaterasu fire, he has it ready, standing by Itachi, and Itachi sees Sasuke, he's really impressed, and he knows that Sasuke has gone a long way from when he last saw Sasuke, so what happens is Itachi has no other choice but to go full power too, so he summons his Yadamura and his, and his sword, and he tells Sasuke that that thing on your neck, I'm here to remove it. The part of Uruchimaru that's, that's, hot, that's, that's in you. <clears throat> Sasuke laughs and tells Itachi, Naruto dealt with Uruchimaru's spirit within me long ago. It's my own power now. Uruchimaru has no tether to this. I went to Ryuji Cave to master White Sake Sage Mode. Not even Uruchimaru did that. I did that, Itachi. And Itachi's like, what? And Sasuke goes, in any case, how are you going to try to get this out of me? You have no way of pulling it out. And Itachi tells Sasuke, you're wrong. If I was to stab you with this sword, Sasuke, I will put you in a form of Genjutsu, a sealing jutsu, where you get locked in a permanent Genjutsu dream. And Sasuke is like shocked by this. And then Itachi goes, not only that, any jutsu, even if you were to chuck that dragon at me, I would have deflected it with my Yada mirror. It can deflect nearly all type of jutsus. Now, I'm actually standing there listening to this, like, interesting. Very interesting. Seeing that they have their Susanoo powers out and they're ready to battle. What happens is Sasuke and Itachi the square off and instead of Sasuke um, making a sword right away, what he does is he shoots an arrow right at Itachi, but a, 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 a flame control of Madarasu arrow and it goes right to where Itachi, Itachi um, puts his Jadamaru up and smacks it away, back right back at Sasuke. But Sasuke realized Itachi was going to do it, so he summons a sword in his right hand and completely slashes at it. He splits this um, arrow in half and the arrow falls apart, making the, um, the fire spread more. And what happens is the, the, the battle instantly ramps up. Itachi and Sasuke Susanoo battling hardcore. Sasuke trying to um, watch out for Itachi's blade from piercing him, just in case he gets sealed. And knowing that Itachi is just trying his best, you know, push Sasuke um, to the fullest. And knowing that Itachi um, is starting to die within him, getting sick, you know, like in Canon. So as their battle commences, they're destroying everything. The, the entire Uchiha um, temple gets destroyed. Hyde gets completely obliterated from the, the clash of, of sorts. And what happens is he touches down the bottom. Naruto is flying in the air. He goes like he, he, he gets pushed back by the wake, but he flies in the air and flies around. And the Nine Tails is telling Naruto how impressive these two Uchiha's are. If given the chance, they'll be more greater than Madara Uchiha himself. And Naruto looks at him and goes, Madara Uchiha, can you explain? So um, within Naruto's psyche, the Nine Tails explains about Madara attacking and all that shit and taking control and how evil he was. And Naruto like he gets it, and not only that, when it comes as Naruto is being distracted by talking to the Nine Tails within his mind, what happens? Sasuke notices the Itachi starting to cough up blood, sick cough within the Susanoo, and, and this is where Ta Sasuke can um, now um, push his powers to the limit. He, he closes his eyes and he enters his, his sage mode state, where the, the the purple lines go over his eyebrows and down his nose. Like then how it goes between the eyes. That's what happens to him. But not only that. He does the same thing as when Jugo merges his chakra in with Sasuke's Susanoo. Same kind of concept happens, but Sasuke puts his chakra within the Susanoo, making the Sage Jutsu Susanoo. And so what happens? He touches Caesar, and he now understands he's on a massive back for day. He can't do shit. Sasuke can counter his um, his flame Jutsu, and on that Sasuke can control that flame Jutsu. And he touches Tsukuyomi, then work on Sasuke. So he touches has to use his entire experience of life and all that stuff to beat Sasuke but unfortunately for Itachi Sasuke is just way more powerful than him 
and Sasuke can, and Itachi can see that even if Naruto wasn't to fight pain, Sasuke can take pain. Like he's feeling proud in his heart, and he's about to sacrifice himself within battle. And what happens is Sasuke uses the fire that's around him. Itachi stolen this uh, Susanoo and he's putting up a bigger fight than he expected. Sasuke um, jumps back with the Susanoo and he puts his hands together and fires a massive um, um, fire star, fire dragon jutsu in the air to make to ignite the air, make it more bigger. And, uh, and Sasuke is telling um, as as he does this, he pulls the Susanoo hand up, does a Jidori and pulls the lightning dragon down as fast as he can before Naruto can react. And he chucks it right at Itachi. Itachi was hoping Sasuke would do this. <clears throat> and what happens is. Um, once the dragon came out to attack Itachi, Naruto just notices and looks back and sees what happens and he, he's about to shout, damn you Sasuke! But what happens is Itachi was waiting for this, he lifted the Yad Yadamura up, jumped back and he smacked the Yadamura into the dragon and deflected it right at Sasuke. And Sasuke was caught off guard by this because this is a lightning this is a lightning dragon with sage jutsu in it so this is gonna fucking hurt him. He doesn't have a Yadamura like Itachi does. But what happens, what ha ends up happening is as Itachi deflects it with the Yadamura it's not the it's not the um the jutsu that hurts Itachi, it's the wake of the attack that and how much power he has to deflect that hurts Itachi. And he gets he gets his Susanoo and himself get blown back to the other side of the Uchiha compound where their hideout is. But it was worth the um worth the um the collateral damage for Itachi. Because as the Lion Dragon appears to Sasuke, Sasuke knows this is gonna hurt him. This is like really gonna hurt to the point where he un he's unsure if he can survive it. He puts so much energy into it. But what happens, um Sasuke didn't even think of that Naruto was gonna be the pop out. But what happens is as, this, as the lightning dragon appears Naruto, Nar um, and is about to hit Sasuke, Naruto appears right in front of it, puts his hands out, and he completely absorbs the dragon into his, um, with his Renegon. And what happens is Naruto, Naruto um, uses his almighty pull and pulls Sasuke out of the Susanoo right to his hand and, gra and grabs Sasuke by the oh, Sas Sasuno. My bad, I mix, I mix Sasuke and Susanoo together. <laughs> Sasuno. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> but what happens is after Naruto absorbs the lightning um, chakra or lightning dragon, he puts his hand out and grabs Sasuke through the Susanoo using an almighty pull. He pulls Sasuke and grabs Sasuke by the um, clothes and tells Sasuke, You're not supposed to kill him, Sasuke. Remember that. You're going past what is needed. And Sasuke is like looking at Naruto, he goes, he goes, he was, he was like, well, this is the only way I would get past Itachi's guard. And then Sasuke goes, and Naruto goes to Sasuke, really? Naruto looks right at Itachi, and Itachi's um, slowly recovering from that, and what happens, Naruto pulls Itachi right through the Susanoo. And Sasuke sees this, and Naruto grabs Itachi, but Naruto looks go of Sasuke, and he's holding Itachi, and not only that, Naruto is paralyzing Itachi with a lightning jutsu, so Itachi can't move. And what happens is, <clears throat> Naruto and them all land on the ground. But well, Naruto's holding Itachi with his with, with his um, almighty pull abilities, just holding him there. And Itachi's shocked, can't move, nothing like that. But Zetsu doesn't want to come any closer because he, he now knows that Naruto can just fucking see him out and anything like that. And it's just too dangerous for him. He can he can confirm that Kisame is dead. He definitely can confirm that. And he can confirm that Naruto has now entered the fight between Sasuke and Itachi. And it's pretty much over. So what happens is. Um, Setsu leaves, but he doesn't know that Itachi was like the, the, the um, all that shit. What, um, like in Canada, how they find out that he was spying all that crap. So what happens as Setsu leaves, um, Naruto is holding it, um, Itachi in the air, and then Naruto puts Itachi on the ground with his left hand, and Itachi's on his knees, and then Naruto raises his right hand and closes it, and a wood style, a wood style instantly envelops Itachi, binds his hands and, and lifts him up, and then Naruto looks at Sasuke, and there you go. Now you can talk to him. But I understand this, Sasuke. If I have to tell you again that I'm not to kill Itachi or go handy at him, I'm Sasuke, you will feel my wrath. Sasuke looks right at Naruto and understands that Naruto was not joking. And so what happens is Sasuke walks over to Itachi and leans over. And as, as Sasuke is about to ask Itachi what happened to the Ichi and uh, what happened to the night long ago, Itachi instantly starts to cough out blood. And Naruto with his Renegon, he, he actually can see why Itachi is coughing out blood. And Sasuke in panic looks at the Naruto and states he didn't do this. This has nothing to do with him. Naruto understands. He goes, no, this is natural. He walks over to Itachi and Naruto goes, I actually have a faster way of doing this. Instead of asking questions, I see Itachi is unwilling to to actually help in this situation, Sasuke. So I'll use my Renegon. Itachi looks at Naruto, uh, Naruto briefly, but Naruto places his right hand on Itachi's head. And then places his head on Sasuke and then he, he goes, Renegon. And instantly, in their, in their state, they enter into the Tailbeast Psyche plane, 
with the nine tail X lady rose in the background. And he touches uh, he touches in in the psyche plane standing up. And to the outside world, it's like a brief second, but in the, in the psyche plane world, it's like days on end if they really want it to be. But what happens is after Naruto does this, Naruto looks at um, Sasuke and pretty much as as they enter the psyche plane, they all kind of connect the minds. And both Sasuke and Naruto see everything that has happened in Itachi's life, from when Obito killed Itachi's friends as a young, when he was a young um, getting, and he unlocked the Sharingan, up until the point where the Uchiha massacre, when the Uchiha were going to do the coup d'etat, and how the village elders and all that shit, and then seeing the relationship between Haori and um, um, Itachi, and not only that, um, Shishui, the relationship they had as close friends, and then the big decision Itachi had to make to kill his clan to keep the Uchiha honor. This is what breaks Sasuke's heart. And seeing and hearing the last glimpses of his father, what his father said, telling Itachi that he is proud of both his boys. And this, this brings comfort to Sasuke and makes Sasuke cry and he never took Naruto because they're sharing the both same mindset as Itachi. And Itachi's also crying too because he's reliving these memories. And now that Naruto gets to see like gets to see everything Itachi did everything for the hidden leaf. The village elders Danzo made him do all of this. And, and not only that, Sasuke is unsure how Naruto is going to take the information, but Sasuke has completely changed his opinion about his brother, changed from being so evil to, like, he can't believe he's at all with his brother's um, absolute greatness. And after Naruto removes the, um, the, removes the duty between them, Naruto read that Itachi's sick and he had, he had his um, um, days to live, he's taking medicine. So as Naruto was holding Itachi, he started healing him properly and what happens is after so after they woke up Itachi felt like he didn't feel sick no more at all he he felt completely recovered so the Sasuke could narrate to heal them both from their battle and after when they enter the real worlds um, um Sasuke runs up to Itachi and hugs him instantly hugs Itachi and Itachi Itachi's upset and he's happy and Sasuke says he's, he's proud to be Itachi's brother and that everything he's done he's the greatest shinobi to ever live in Sasuke's eyes, but what Naruto states to Itachi, Naruto states, you, you deserve to be Hokage, you're, the, you're the, the best Hokage to ever, like, you would be the best Hokage to ever love Itachi, like, what you have done is surpasses anyone, even the first Hokage, yeah, he had the tail beast and fought Madara, but he didn't do what you had to do, what was necessary to keep your clan's honor, protect your little brother, protect the leaf, yeah, like, Naruto's at all with Itachi, like, he's like a fanboy, uh, Itachi, what Itachi has done for, um, in this sense, made Naruto pretty much look at more at him as a hero than the fourth Hokage. Um, because see, you know, Itachi's actions, like this buzzes out Naruto and Sasuke, and both Naruto and Sasuke smile at each other, and Sasuke goes to Naruto, I got a great older brother, and Naruto goes, I agree, but we're going to do something in Sasuke before we go back to the Hidden Leaf, and Itachi goes, what is that? And um, Naruto goes, now I could do what I did before with Sasuke where I used my abilities to um, pretty, much, pretty much replicate the eternal Mangekyo in his eyes but if I replace your eyes with Sasuke's and Sasuke's eyes with yours and do the same jutsu not only will you guys get twin Mangekyo shining guns but your guys power will be greater and Itachi, Itachi's um, fine with it because he, um, he doesn't want to go blind and he believes he'll be much better of using it and not only that because Naruto and Sasuke saw into Itachi's heart He's a loyal Leaf Shinobi to the core. The Leaf comes first and that's his primary objective. So um, they don't hesitate. But what happens is Naruto tells Sasuke that he's going to have to perform a quick operation. So Naruto, um, um, Naruto puts his hands together and a massive wooden dome um, uh, 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 abruptly erupts over them and goes makes a massive wooden dome over the area where they at. And then Naruto, as, as he does this, like, like a wood style table appears, two tables, and Itachi lies down. Because Naruto tells Itachi to lie down. And like that, Naruto also tells Sasuke to lie down. And Sasuke goes, "Are, are you not? Do you, are you sure you know what you're doing, Naruto?" And Naruto smiles and goes, "Well, if I didn't really touch his mind, I probably wouldn't have known what I, what I was doing. But thanks to reading really touch his mind, I have a fair idea." So Sasuke smiles and Sasuke goes, "I trust you." And he looks right at Touchy and tells Touchy, "You can trust him, brother. You can." He showed me the light. He's the reason why my vengeance wasn't so hateful and destructive. Yeah, I started to lose control, but, you know, Naruto's always been there to help me. And Tachi smiles and goes tells Naruto, 
um, he considers Naruto a little brother for being there for his little brother, so he will consider Naruto a little brother as well. And Naruto smiles at that because Sasuke already has that feeling towards him, and Naruto has that now has another person that feels the same way. So Naruto smiles, he's feeling like his life is getting full, having Jiraiya, um, Ino, or um, Sakura, Naruto, uh, Sasuke in his life, all his friends, all this stuff like that. So it helps even Gara, it helps him so much. So what happens is. Naruto um, does the operation and um, replaces both the eyes to each other and then Naruto um, instead of doing the Lady Tsunade healing jutsu what happens is he leaves them both knocked out but he, he summons the King of Hell and chucks Itachi in there first and after the King of Hell spits him out Itachi is walking out like perfectly healed with brand new eyes and he's like amazed upon the power he just got from Sasuke's eyes and on that when Sasuke got put into the same King of Hell mouth he came out even way more powerful too like having the real Tournament Gekyo instead of a, a replacement form, in essence. And Itachi has Sasuke's old, um, old eyes too, but they manifest perfectly into the same Eternal Gekyo that Sasuke has. So they both have twin eyes. The same exact uh, um, Stray Tomoe Sharingan. Normal one, like you know. And this this, this buzzes out Itachi. He, he tells um, Sasuke, I feel the power in these eyes, Sasuke. I can't believe you manifested so much strength. And Sasuke goes and smiles, and Naruto goes, Cool, now we had this catch up, we have to get back to the Leaf now and report this back to Lady Tsunade. Before we go, Itachi, are you gonna keep um, rip those robes off? Itachi rips the, robe off straight, rips the robes off straight away, and as he rips them off, he's, he activates his Eternal Mangekyo Shadow Gun, and Amaterasu envelops on his hands but bursts out onto the, um, the clothes, the, um, the, the Akatsuki robes, and all that. The Amaterasu burns. The ring on his hands. Sasuke is looking at Itachi like you're able to hold the Amaterasu and, and what happens is Naruto states that you guys have twin among um, eternal Mongekyos but I think Itachi has a different power and, and while Itachi goes he's unsure how, how he's actually doing that but Sasuke and Naruto just explains that your Amaterasu must be a physical one now Itachi you can still shoot it out but you can manifest it on your body. Interesting you're immune to your own attack now. And Sasuke said, wow, he kind of puts the look up like, fuck you, I was stronger than you, now you have a cooler power than me. <laughs> so they have like they have like a little laughing moment and they fly off back to the head on leaf village, thanks to Naruto's jutsu. And as they're flying, the Itachi asks Naruto, so what are you, Naruto? And Naruto explains that the, the, um, the Kurama told him that he is the reincarnation of the Sage of Six Paths, and so did the Gama, Gama Maru, the giant sage toad on Mount Miyaboku. And what happens is he touches it, huh? Kurama, who's there? And then Sasuke just informs him, oh, that's the Nine Tails name. All the tail beasts have names that were given to them by the Sage of Six Paths. And touches up in Sasuke and he goes, yeah, me and Naruto grew up with each other. In essence, we Jiraiya's our sensei, we, we all, all that shit. And then touching is impressed that Sasuke even went to Jiraiya as a sensei, since so Sasuke's will of fire is even that much more stronger now. And they're, they're happy, all giddy. But what happens is they, they, they're flying back to the head on leaf and Itachi's just that all knowing that Naruto is actually the reincarnation of the true god of shinobi of the shinobi world and he understands, he tells Naruto that he truly has nothing to fear with Naruto existing Naruto is powerful but Naruto can take him, it's the other guy he's afraid of and what happens is Naruto goes, yes, the one that can't be hit, right? and he goes, yeah, the masked man he calls himself Madara and Naruto goes, yeah I, I understand that we must inform Lady Tsunade. So as they're flying back to the head on leaf, um, what happens is after Nagato failed to get the three tails, as I stated in, uh, in, in the previous series, he, he pretty much um, deactivated all his other pains and took all the chakra into his, old, his, his own body. And what, what happens is him, Conan and Obito go to um, get Killer B. Now when they get to the Hidden Cloud Village, um, Nagato is not fucking around. He, he, he's really fucked off that he missed the three tails and Danzo has it. Has the three tails and made him look like a dick. And when they get there, Izetsu appears and tells them of the situation with Kisame and Itachi. And this makes um, Nagato even more angry. Because this is Nagato in his actual form, not the the, the, the pains, the different pains. And Conan's there and what happens is Nagato tells Conan to find um, the eight tails. So Conan turns into the paper um, butterflies and fly around to look for him. And then Nag uh, Nagato looks at Obito and Obito tells him we need to we need to move up. We need to do this now. We need we can't wait. Naruto tells Obito, I agree with that. And then what happens is um, Zetsu states that he knows where um, he tell Conan to come back. He knows where um, Killer B is. Not that hard. And so what happens is 
when Conan comes back, they, um, Obito can't waste them to where Killer B's location is. And when they get to where Killer B's location is, Killer B is shocked to see that then these guys are there. He, he's, but when he sees the robes on from what they are wearing, he instantly enters into his battle stance where he grabs all of eight blades and gets into that stance where he's ready to fight. And Eight Tails is like telling Killer B, like, watch out, that guy with the Renegon there is not to come on to be messed with. Like, he's shocked Eight Tails seen a Renegon user, but he knows by the Akatsuki robes that these guys are coming for you and um, Killer B. But um, what happens is, Nagato and them were two killers, they didn't give a shit what, um, what, um, what they looked like in, in, in knowing that, that there was any shinobi around, they didn't give a fuck. Nagato's um, aggro and he needs to do something now. So I happen when the fight commences with um, Killer B, Nagato doesn't have nothing else. Killer B tries to rush to attack him, but Nagato lifts his hand up, does an almighty push, a full power one, and blast! And Killer B all the way to the mountain, and Killer B hits the mountain, completely level, um, hits the mountain, fucking obliterates the majority of it. And then what happens is, Conan is sending all her paper bombs to go blow up um, Killer B to like, you know, keep him down. But what happens is, a massive, uh, massive red chakra erupts from the area, and Killer B jumps out with four tails, and it goes to attack um, um, Nagato with a full power punch. But what happens is, Nagato instantly catches Kisa, um, 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 what's his name, Killer B's hands, flips and Killer B over, and what happens is, he, he, absor he begins to absorb um, Killer B's chakra instantly. And he grows more stronger, and then um, whatever so Killer B feels it, moves away, jumps back away. But what happens is Orbito is behind him, and he senses that. So what happens is he summons um, Octopus's tail to swipe at Killer um, Orbito. But it, um, Orbito's punch goes right through Killer B, and Killer B's body goes right through Orbito. He lands on the ground, jumps away. He makes sure he now knows he's at the back a back foot now. He can't use the chakra cloak because Orbito, oh no, sorry, Nagato can um, absorb the chakra. And he's really powerful, so what happens is Killer B has no choice. He instantly closes his head and, and tr transforms into the Tail Beast state, into a full um, eight tails. He does a stupid uh, wee, all that crap, does that shit, you know, and his, his, his god awful raps that are funny. And I, I think it's quite grateful now too that they had some funny shit like that. <laughs> but what happens is, as um, Killer B is fighting, um, the shinobi that they witnessed everything, um, he's actually already back at the Hidden Cloud Village, he used a bird to get back there. Uh, he used a bird something to get back there and he tells the Raikage what's happening, Killer B's fighting some some um, shinobi with um, cloaks that have red clouds on it. And what happens the Raikage smashes the table, table and he goes, the Akatsuki, instantly turns the lightning ch um, cloak on and blitzes it. Darui's like, oh, really? Oh, oh well, let's get going, jumps out. And he heads out after the Raikage. The Raikage is blitzing it as fast as he can to kill a bee. And to stop them from taking the one power they have that no one else has, the perfect in Cherokee, what he believes anyway. And as he's blitzing it there, um, Nagato is not giving um, um, kill a bee any quarter. Um, kill a bee in his um, Octopop state or um, um, his Edo state instantly starting to destroy everything, whack everything around. But you can't get Conan because Conan ev uh, um, evaporates into the paper. And knowing that Orbito can fly and get taken, like, that shit just goes right through Orbito's body, so it's nothing to him. And I'm unsure why Orbito can fly, but if you watch the videos, how he, he flies through the earth and jumps away, he, he has like a sense of flying thanks to his calm way ability. I'm unsure. Please let me know in, Canada, in the comments if that's, the, if that's true, okay? Because I saw it a lot through the war arc, you know? I'm just acting. It's getting it out there. But um, Orbito is um, easily able to counter all of uh, Killer B's attack. It's Nagato that's not having today. And what Nagato does instantly is uh, he uses his animal summonings to take Killer B off guard. He uses their dog that can separate to get obliterated and separate it to hundreds of pieces. And it does. Um, Killer B completely splits their dog up and makes hundreds of them. And but what happens is those those pain dogs bite all the um, Octopop's tail. Now what happens is Octopop's um, at one time when Conan was caught off guard almost gets Conan with a, uh, a tentacle. But what happens is Nagato appears. And he uses the Ashura path to cut the tail off, completely severing the tail, and the tail drops in the water. And but what happens is, um, the real killer bee is within that tail, and so is part of the octopops. And Nagato won't realize that because he's, uh, as as the tail falls in, the killer, um, the tail beast or the octopops version go instantly goes to attack Nagato. And what happens? Nagato uses the almighty push, and because Conan's within the barrier and he knows that um, Orbito can handle the attack, he does a gigantic almighty push. Uh, and he pushes everything away, all the water disappears, the, um, the octopop's tail it gets pushed away, the, the chakra tail that Killer B is hiding in, 
and the real octopuses and that's the rest of the chakra because they can do that you know he's an octopus brains in each legs intelligent so what happens is after doing that um, um, Orbito uses his Kamui to pull out all his um, chakra spikes and they instantly pinned um, the octopus down to the mountain and not only that right as right as the um, everything's um, about to get more serious with him doing a tail bit about, about to blast the tail beast bomb at them Orbito touches Edo uh, and not only that and Naruto's right there and they Kamui away and then what happens is when they come away to the um, Obito's um, Kamui dimension, um, the Raikage just makes it there. And he, he in a fit of rage, he's, he gets angry. He, he shouts out his brother, B! And because Sasuke in this canon hasn't chopped off a, a Amaterasu to Raikage's um, other arm, while well, obviously he envelops into a massive lightning rage, um, um, the Raikage starts to destroy everything. And so what happens is, as the Edo that's, that's there with them, is getting attacked by uh, in the Kamui dimension by Obito, Kona, and Nagato. And what happens is Nagato ends it straight away by instantly putting his hand right on Killer B and absorbing as much chakra as he can. And he absorbs a lot of it and thanks to his Uzumaki chakra chain and the Renegon, he's able to absorb all of it to the point where he reverts back to base form. And then there's just Killer B left. Well, partially what's Killer B is left. And so what happens is they use the Ghetto statue and do the same thing, reseal him again, but it takes ages, okay? They seal that chakra that's in. That killer bee body, but really it's not the real one. It's like, like how the tentacle was in canon, but this is more of the chakra now. Is at least 50% of the chakra because Nagato was fully there. But the real killer bee get, gets away like in canon, and he, um, him and Edo are starting to um, re heal their chakra now, starting to build it back up. And what happens is um, this is when the right Kage calls a five Kage summon. Now, what happens is from there. All the mystic summonings goes to all the other kages and all the other hidden villages, and that's when and that's when the, the appointment of the work is slowly but surely about to begin. Okay, so this is where I'm gonna leave this part of the water for guys. I hope you like it. Um, this is um, by no means uh, an easy one because Naruto is a reincarnation of Seizo's path. There's much more um, more in depth stuff I have to go through. Everyone's going through a different form of power scaling. So yeah. I hope you like this what off. I'll be um, not continuing this part until next week, okay? So I'll be doing my other what offs, okay? But yeah, I hope you like this. This is Dr. Kyo saying peace. Also, like and subscribe and comment down below. Thank you, thank you.